Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 1020. My name is Christina and on today's episode, I'm showing you the Hazel and Ruby Cut Your Own Stencils. So I have shown you some of the Hazel and Ruby stencil masks on previous episodes, but now they have come out with the material as just the solid sheet so you can cut your own stencils at home using a digital cutter. So I'm going to show you how I use it with the Brother Scan and Cut. So the material is about 12 by 18 inches. I've cut off six inches that I can use later for another project. I always like to put some washi tape um, on my project just to keep it in. The mat is still sticky, but just to make sure it doesn't shift in the process of cutting. Now I'm going to change out my blade. This is the regular cutting blade. And I'm going to use the deep cut blade, but I'm only going to put it at number one. This material isn't really that thick, but I like to use the deep cut blade on number one and it will cut just the um, mask area. It won't cut the underneath part. So I'm going to put my mat in. Then I'm going to pick what I'm going to cut. So I'm going to pattern, save data on my machine, and I'm going to go up. And I have all these circles that I had previously done. And I thought, oh, I'd like a lot of uh, different circles that are sticky because this material is sticky. So I'm going to hit OK, OK again, and I'm going to cut and start. And it's going to take um, a few minutes to cut this because there's so many circles, but we'll just let it cut. So it finished cutting, just hit OK. So now I can take it off my cutting mat. Then we'll peel off and so you can see that it cut the stencil perfectly but it did not cut through the backing so I still have the backing to hold all my stencils. What I'm going to do is cut off the excess that I don't need here because I can use this piece for another uh, stencil later and then if I peel off The backing, I'll reveal my circles. I just got to separate it. There we go. So there. So this part here, I could save it and use it as a stencil, but it's sort of sticky and it would be hard to work with. So I'm not going to save it, but you could. I actually, this is a stencil I make out of stencil film. So I already have this in a stencil film area. But now I have all these circles that are nice and sticky. So let's quickly make a little project with them. So now I'm going to just use my stencils, pick them up off the sheet, and randomly put them on this card that I had previously painted the background. So cutting stencils out of the hazel and ruby material is great especially if you're a person that likes to tape down your stencils you don't like to just put your stencils um, on and you're afraid that they shift on you this is a great alternative because they automatically will just stick down and they are reusable and they will peel off um, your projects here I'm just I'm 
Putting these down. Not putting too, too much thought into it. Trying to make it random. And different sizes. Sort of like that. And I can actually use the stickiness to hold the whole thing down on my craft mat. And then I'm just using some pink. This is medium magenta paint. I'm going to paint over top of the blue. Now the paint underneath is water-based, so the acrylic may um, activate it a little. my uh, tweezers to help just pick up those stencils and place them back on my mat. And now I know where to put it because there are the little uh, marks from where it was cut but it didn't cut through. So you can see because it's stuck down what a nice um, mask they make. You get two sheets in each package, so you can cut yourself a bunch of different stencils. You can see how easily they come up off your project and they don't rip your paper. Our last one. And there, now we have this really cool background that we can do some more fun stuff to. And that's how easy it is to cut your own stencils using the Hazel and Ruby stencil masks. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you some of my latest iBooks. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.